By shield of day and shield of night, we feed and grow beyond all sight. Your darkest self shall be the night. Wield the sword, unseen light. What's going on, everyone? Uh, so today we are covering the newest core in the Lantern Mythos, uh, the Ultraviolet Lantern Corpse. And this is the first one we've come across as part of the Invisible Spectrum. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This will be a bit of a short one. Yes, as mentioned, the new boys on the block, uh, the first of the Invisible Spectrum. Um, we see the heart of the corpse is basically a living galaxy, or a phantom galaxy, powered by a sentinel sun called Umbrax. We'll get into Umbrax shortly. So, we um, first see the ultraviolet lanterns through, you guessed it, Sinestro. Uh, as we've seen so far, um, he always seems to get involved with these sort of stories. But how did he become the ultraviolet lantern? Well, it is shown that pre his lantern days, Sinestro um, was looking for the supreme power. Um, and after discovering this, he realized it was too terrifying to wield itself and hid it away for decades. So in all this time, Sinestro knew of a greater power, basically. Um, that was until the source wall was broken itself and the sentinel sun, Umbrax, was released onto our universe. The ultraviolet lanterns are powered by basically a person's hateful and unseen emotions. Unlike other Lantern Corps, Umbrax himself actually controls anyone who is part of the Ultraviolet Corps, so it's kind of like a like a unimind basically of Umbrax, so he controls all these Lanterns and can make them do anything under his control. That is, but there are two people who obviously are exceptions to this rule. There was um, Sinestro who Something about his original suit, it makes him invulnerable to it, and, um, well, John Stewart himself becomes one, and he just has enough willpower that he is able to control himself while he is a vi ultraviolet lantern, which is an incredible feat for on his part. Now, they've only featured briefly in a few story arcs. Um, unfortunately, since the, the Death Metal story arc, um, we haven't really seen too much. They've been put on the back burner at the moment, um, but... Hopefully, in the future, we get to see a bit more brought into the mythos, uh, a few more of the unseen uh, spectrum coming through, and we get a whole new version of Lanterns. This was a good intro to them. Um, they were an extremely powerful core, and fingers crossed, yeah, more in the future. Okay, and thank you for listening. It was a brief one here, but yeah, let's um, hope for the best. Uh, anything I've missed, let me know. Um, cheers.